Hello, my name is Stuart Rolke. I am a front desk media coordinator at Somerville Media Center, and welcome to part one of our four-part series on Adobe After Effects. In this tutorial, I am going to teach you how to properly start a project in After Effects. After Effects is a program specifically designed for visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing. Now, before you get started on doing anything, you're going to want to know how to start a project correctly and how to not lose all of your work. I know that sounds boring, but what's more boring is redoing hours of work. So the first thing you're gonna to have to do is open After Effects. Once you have After Effects open, you can... <clears throat> Once you have After Effects open, you should see this screen, which directs you to previous projects you've opened and also allows you to start a new project. So today we're gonna to start a new project. Once you start a new project, After Effects doesn't force you to save the project like Premiere does. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is start by finding a place to save it. And in order to do that, you're gonna to wanna to go to File, Save As, and Save As. Today I'm just gonna save it in Documents and probably delete it later, so I'll just call it Delete. <laughs> okay, so now we have our project saved, and anytime we make significant changes, we're just gonna to wanna to go to File, and go to save again. Okay, so now we have our project saved, um, but you might notice that there is no timeline and there's no place to edit footage. And that's because After Effects uses compositions. In order to do anything in After Effects, you have to have a composition. It's basically the same thing that a sequence is in Adobe Premiere. So we're gonna open a new composition right now. When you start a new composition, the first thing you're gonna do is give it a name. So today, again, we're just gonna call it delete. Wow. So the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that the width and height of your project match the footage that you're working with. The last time I used it, I was working on a very unconventional animation, and so it's set up to be a 4K square, but today we're just gonna change that to 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. Then you're gonna to wanna to check your frame rate, and again, the last project I used was 30 FPS, which isn't common, so we're just gonna switch it back down to 24, which is a standard frame rate for films. And then the last thing we're definitely gonna to wanna to double check is the duration. So the composition will automatically be a certain size. Um, unlike Premiere, the timeline doesn't just automatically scale up when you have more footage, so you have to specify exactly how much time you're trying to work with. You can edit this later, but for now, we're just gonna to wanna to give ourselves a good 30 seconds to work with. Okay, so as you can see, now we have a timeline and our composition moved right over here. Any additional compositions we make will show up in the same area. So for example, if I make another one, 1920 by 1080, 24 FPS and 30 second duration, we can call this delete 02. <laughs> and now we have both compositions. In order to switch between compositions, you just have to double click one or the other, or you can go down here and usually you'll have a list of your different compositions. Um, but sometimes you can accidentally close out of these. Aww. And so I find it easier just to double click on the one I'm working with. Okay, so now that we know how compositions work, um, we can begin loading up footage. So now we are ready to import some footage. So we just go up to file, import, and you can do either one file or multiple files. If you know that you're working with a lot of footage, I would do multiple files, um, but today we're just gonna do one file and just hit open. <coughs> okay, so now the video clip has appeared in our um, project panel right under the compositions that we have and we can drag that footage into either of our compositions. Now a good trick to remember when dragging dropping is that if you put it right into the timeline it will appear in a random location um, so you end up having to move it back over but an easier thing to do is to drag it right down here into this little source window um, and it'll automatically appear right at the front. Hooray! Okay, so now we have our footage imported. If you hit space, you can watch it. An interesting thing about After Effects is that it caches the footage as you watch it. 
Um, so if something seems like it's slow or lagging, um, sometimes you just have to wait for it to load. And that's the little green bar moving across the screen. And the nice thing about that is once you've watched a video clip, even if it was laggy, um, once it plays again, it'll be smooth. The composition we brought it into is the one I called Delete 1, the, the first one I made. Um, you can go to that one by double clicking, but if we double click the other composition, there's nothing in it um, because that's a completely separate one. So if we wanted to bring the same footage into there, again, we would have to click, you know, drag and drop into the source window. And now the same click is in, is in both compositions. If we want to import more files, we just go to file again, import, file, pick something else. Super simple. Okay, so now we have our video clip in, we have our compositions. Um, an additional thing that you can do is you can put different things in folders in your project panel. Um, so if you want to be a bit more organized, you can say make a compositions folder and put your compositions in there. Um, you can also make a footage folder or a clips folder and you can drag your videos into there. And now there's this nice uh, folder structure, Aww. very similar to things you might see on a Mac or on a Windows, just using the Finder or the Explorer. Um, and if you don't do this, you'll end up with just a endless list of video clips and compositions that nobody can understand. And also you'll spend hours looking for that one thing. Okay, so that is a basic how to open up After Effects, how to start a project, how to save the project so that you don't lose your work, and how to create a composition and import footage. Now, if you are watching this tutorial, we are going to assume that you are familiar with Adobe Premiere. Um, if not, you should probably learn Adobe Premiere because potentially some of the things you're doing in After Effects can be done much quicker in Premiere. And After Effects is generally a more complicated program. So, so if you haven't learned Premiere, I would recommend doing that. Um, but we're just going to assume that you have used Premiere, and I'm going to show you now how to automatically open up After Effects from Premiere and how to automatically send clips with Dynamic Link so that you can edit your clips from Premiere in After Effects without having to import or start a new project or any of those things. So before we close, we are going to hit save. Just do it. And then we're going to close so we don't lose our work. Okay, so now we have Premiere open, very similar to After Effects. It has this screen that shows projects you've previously worked on. I'm just going to go to new project. And I'm going to very quickly set up another project in Premiere. You should already be familiar with this process. I'm just going to name it Delete. <laughs> and now we're in Premiere. So similar to After Effects, we want to import our footage. In Premiere, you just drag it right to the timeline and it automatically creates a sequence. Um, again, the After Effects compositions are very similar to Premiere sequences. And now we have our beautiful footage in Premiere. Look at that. <laughs> So what do we do now? Well, let's add some uh, amazing special effects to our beautiful movie. So what we're going to do is automatically put this clip into After Effects using something called a dynamic link, which automatically updates anything you change to the clip when you change it in After Effects. So essentially, while you're adding text or special effects in After Effects, those will automatically move into this clip in Premiere. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in just a second. But in order to do that, we are going to have to right click our clip, go to replace with After Effects composition, and it will automatically open After Effects. If you already have After Effects open, um, Premiere might try and put the footage into the project you have open. Um, so it's best to have it closed if you're starting a new project or to already have the project that you want to edit clips in open um, before you edit. So for example, you know, if we were using this delete After Effects project we started earlier in the tutorial to store all of our special effects for our Premiere project, 
we would want to already have that open and then the clips would just send directly into there. Um, but for this, we're starting a new one. I'm actually just going to overwrite <laughs> the project we started earlier because I don't care about it. Wow. And now you don't even have to import footage. Um, you don't even have to start a new composition. The duration of the timeline is even the length of your clip already. And this is a very effective way of using After Effects because you don't have to always say, you know, file new project. You don't have to save the project when you start. All of that happens as soon as you send the clip from Premiere. Um, you might still want to organize your compositions and clips because what After Effects does is it still imports that clip and it automatically makes you a composition with a really weird name. So our project in Premiere is just delete. And so it called it delete linked composition. Um, but you know, if, if I was working on this and it was a real project, I would want to rename everything Uh, obviously, I spelled that wrong, whatever. And you can really organize this however you want. So now whenever we make changes in here, um, say I shorten this, uh, Premiere will make those changes right away. So now where I shortened it is just empty. Um, an important thing to remember, if at this point in Premiere you undo by either going to edit undo or hitting control z you lose the connection to the after effects file this can be really effective if you accidentally made that composition um, so say i send it into after effects by accident you can always undo in premiere and get your footage back um, what's also really nice to do before you move into after effects or before you send anything into after effects is to make a copy of the footage in Premiere and keep it um, either above with this uh, output off or keep it below. Because that way any changes you make here, if you decide you don't want them, it's very easy to just delete this. So let's say we link it. Automatically, again, it moves into the project we already have open um, and the footage is just here, so and now that we have a copy under it, I can always delete the After Effects compositions if I don't like it. Um, if I've screwed it up in some way that's irredeemable or I just want to start fresh, you can just delete it, you know, copy it again, and send a fresh clip over to After Effects. Um, another important thing is, you know, when, when you're working in these two programs, you want to make sure you save them both because they are independent of each other. Um, if you make any changes here and don't save it, Premiere will actually lose those changes. So you want to make sure you're always saving. Um, if you make some changes in After Effects that you don't want and you don't want to start from scratch, uh, you can obviously just close After Effects without saving. Premiere will lose those changes. Um, it's all somewhat complicated, but you know, generally, if you're using these two programs together, you just want to keep saving them both and making sure you have spare copies of your footage. So that is how to open After Effects, how to make a new composition, how to import footage, putting the footage on the timeline, and then opening After Effects through Premiere if you're trying to add special effects to a Premiere project. So stick around for the next three tutorials if you wanna learn how to actually add effects in After Effects, which you should at this point, you're already halfway there, so why not? My name is Stuart Rolke. Uh, again, this is a Somerville Media Center production, and thank you for watching.